Who is Harry's real dad? Meg brainwashed and forced Duke to take DNA test driving Charles up the wall. Meghan Markle requested that Prince Harry undergo a DNA test. According to a newspaper, after watching Princess Diana's interview over two decades ago, the Duchess of Sussex requested to know who the Duke's biological father was. According to a report released by Woman's Day, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have a secret that could jeopardize the royal family. Markle is said to have viewed Princess Diana's interview from 25 years ago, in which she confesses to being madly in love with James Hewitt. If this is the case, Prince Harry will no longer be a member of the royal family, and the Sussexes will be able to live in peace. Even Prince Charles, according to the phony insider, was unsure if Prince Harry was his son. Prince William's younger brother is said to have agreed to take a DNA test. Queen Elizabeth II, on the other hand, banned him. According to the publication, Prince Harry may simply get it for his son Archie's sake. The rumor about paternity tests has been debunked. The report was analyzed by Gossip Cop and found to be false for various reasons. For starters, this problem had been resolved years ago. Their matching hair colors sparked speculation that James Hewitt was Prince Harry's father. Hewitt, on the other hand, has already disputed it. He talks about his affair with the late Princess of Wales in his tell-all book. Princess Diana's relationship with Hewitt began only after she gave birth to Prince Harry, according to Hewitt. He was, in reality, only a toddler at the time. Hewitt would make more money if he claimed the reverse, according to Gossip Cop. However, both Princess Diana and Hewitt have already stated that the allegations are incorrect, and the rumor-busting website is confident in debunking the story. Second, the publication was simply profiting off the 25th anniversary of Princess Diana's death. In 1989, Princess Diana admitted to having an affair with Hewitt, but Prince Harry would have been five years old at the time. Meanwhile, online tabloid website, Entertainment Times released a story in May 2020 about Prince Harry allegedly having two DNA tests done on son Archie to ensure he was, in fact, his child. According to the story, tests were done just days prior to Archie's May 6, 2019 birth. Tests were conducted by testing amniotic fluid which, apparently is a standard DNA test performed on royal babies leading up to their entry into the world. Allegedly, Harry and Meghan were surprised to learn that the second son of Prince Charles and the late Princess Diana was not the child's father. Harry refused to believe what he was told and thought that the test was a con. Meghan meanwhile, burst into tears upon hearing her husband was not her unborn child's daddy. A second DNA test was performed which showed the prince was the father. Well, being as paranoid as he is, Harry believed there was a conspiracy out there to get him. Also, some members of the royal family allegedly believe Archie is not Harry's. Recently, the Queen once stepped in to cool down Meghan Markle over Furious Egro. The 95-year-old took the Duchess of Sussex to one side few days before she walked down the aisle for Prince Harry. Right before her wedding ceremony in 2018, Meghan was tasked to sample dishes to be served at the wedding. The Duchess, who was very particular about having eggless recipes, was not happy when she tasted otherwise. Royal author Katie Nichol narrates the incident to Yahoo's royal box. Meghan got very upset when she felt that she could taste egg in a dish when she was told there was no egg in there, and she said, no, I can taste it, I can taste there's egg in this dish. Katie went on to say that the Queen walked in while the incident was taking place, and quietly took Meghan to the side. I think there was a bit of an upset when suddenly the Queen walked in, because of course, this was Windsor Castle, this is her home, she continued. And she just quietly took Meghan to the side and said, Meghan, in this family we don't speak to people like that. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tied the knot in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle on May 18, 2018. The couple stepped back as senior royals two years later.